Hi, I'm Jenny with Wapato Island Farm. And I'm Ray. And today we're here with our milky oats harvest and we're gonna be making some milky oats vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, we made this vinegar last year here on the farm with plums that mm -hmm. we grew. Um, and then we also added some herbs to the vinegar. So, um, which is kind of creating a layer of a amazing milky oats um, nourishing nerve tincture. Yeah, I mean vinegar. vinegar. <laughs> Do you want to talk a little bit about milky oats plant? Sure. Um, so we did a lot of harvesting today, as you can see, and milky oats is this amazing plant. Um, we're growing currently about three to four acres of it right now. And there's about a week and a half, maybe two week window when, um, I don't know if you can see it, when you squeeze it, it puts out a milky latex. And that's the potent medicine of this plant. Yeah, so milky oats is the same plant that is ends up being the oatmeal that we love. Mm -hmm. um, so we're all actually pretty familiar with this plant, but most of us don't know about it in this form. So the milky latex that Jenny was showing us is only is only active for about two weeks mm -hmm. in the year. And what this milky substance does is actually very unique in the terms of plant actions. On um, this milky substance helps to rebuild the myelin sheath. And the myelin sheath is the lining around our nerves throughout our nervous system and that helps to send electrical impulses from our brain to our body and also to receive them from the outside world and take them into our brain. So it's what connects us to the world and what connects the world to us. So the milky oats is helping to help that the flow of that energy and those impulses to be more smooth. And I think that a lot of um, plant medicines that are grounding, and that help us to feel calm and relax there. They do that action only for a certain amount of time and then it's kind of like you're, maybe you reset a little bit, but you're sort of right back where you started. Milky Oats is so amazing. It continues the work on and it's what's so um, tonifying is like it just continues. And, and that's why we love working with it so much and that's why we grow so much and really believe in this plant. And one of the medicines that we make here at Wapato Island Farm is our Nourish Nerves blend. And that's just a very simple, but very powerful medicine um, that the plants and the mushrooms have gifted to us. And that would be milky oats combined with lion's mane mushrooms, which we also grow on the farm. And that blend has really become one of the, the, most, the most solid medicines that we rely on. And it, it, it seems to have such a vast, mm -hmm. um, it has such a vast audience of people who really can use it. Yeah. So we make it in the form of vinegar and tincture, so alcohol-based. Today we're going to be making the vinegar. We feel like it's really important to make our own vinegars, not buy them. Um, doing that, there's a lot of amazing vinegars out there, but when you are making your own, you're using the ecology that's in your area. Um, and there's so many different types of yeasts so many different types of beneficial ones that are all around. So it just adds a layer to one's gut system that is a unique yeast. The other thing about vinegar is um, within my indigenous community, um, offering something that isn't alcohol based just feels really an important part of our integrity. Just honoring folks that wherever they are, you know, if they feel like they don't want to um, bring alcohol into their system. This is just a really beautiful um, option. So here's some that we started just a little bit earlier. So the process is very simple. All we really are going to be doing is adding the vinegar, which is already made. And like Jenny said, we made the, these vinegars from berries and fruits on our farm, but you can buy Mm -hmm. vinegar at the store. Um, you don't want to use distilled vinegar. You right. want to use a vinegar with a living mother. And basically that's just a colony of bacteria that's going to eat up sugars and help to make your vinegar. What we have here is some vinegars that we've made and we're going to be mm -hmm. adding our freshly harvested milky oats into the blender. And the reason we want to agitate them is to just kind of release 
all of that milky latex, that's that powerful medicine for our nervous systems, into the vinegar. And the vinegar will hold it and preserve it. And after about a full moon cycle, four to six weeks of this vinegar sitting in this container, we're gonna have a very amazing medicine. That's right. All right, so we're okay. blend. <laughs> Here we go. You may open. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this is unfiltered vinegar. And then if you wanna have a look, this, so we'll do this a few times, continuing to add more of the vinegar and then more milky oats. One thing I really like about the combination of milky oats and the vinegar mm -hmm. is how it's so important to nourish our guts for our mm -hmm. mental health. And these vinegars are so alive and contain so many probiotics mm -hmm. that we are really getting to work with both systems, yeah. the gut and the brain, yeah. which they're very connected. Yeah. It's definitely looking milky. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And I'll just do kind of a check to see how, so I'm still getting some milk pressed out, so I'm gonna have to work it a little bit more. All right, you wanna check it? Mm -hmm. There's a few, but I think for the most part, we've got, we've got it, okay. All right, so then we can just add it into here. What kind of vessel could people use if they don't have something that's so big? Is it yeah. a jar okay? Yeah, like a mason jar would be great. Um, something with the lid. Um, because the vinegar is already made, you don't have to release any CO2. So you can put an airtight lid on it so you don't have any evaporation happening and then it can just sit on the counter, right? Yep. Or someone like in a dark place. Um, you know, if you're someone that is likes to kind of babysit things a little more and you want to like shake it twice a day, you can do something like that. Um, or you can just let it sit and do its thing. So we will keep doing this over and over and over again. <laughs> until we use all of these ones. That's about it, it's really simple. Just um, vinegar, milky oats, a vessel, some thyme. Yeah, and then yeah. once it's ready, you'll strain it mm -hmm. and basically you're just going to be taking out the remainder. This is gonna be, gonna be straining this out and then you're gonna have a medicine that you can use as in cooking. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You can use just daily dose straight Mm -hmm. um, and the great thing about it is that it's safe for children and elders too. Yeah. So. yeah, there aren't really any contraindications that we know of with milky oats other than if you have a really, really high gluten intolerance. Some folks, um, there might be overlap with other grains. There's no gluten in this, but if, if um, grains agitate you, then that's just something to consider. Um, I don't personally know anyone that that's ever happened to, but I've heard that that's, um, that could happen. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>